And tonight's Health Watch, an exciting potential breakthrough to treat celiac disease. It's a way to stop the painful and destructive attacks triggered by eating wheat. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez here to explain how it works and why researchers are so excited about this. That's right, and the excitement is because this might work not just on celiac, it might work for, against MS, peanuts, even diabetes as well as celiac. Celiac is a painful intestinal disease where gluten, a protein in wheat and other grains, triggers the immune system to attack the patient's small intestine. The trick is how to rein in that autoimmune attack. After I was eating particularly, I was experiencing bloating, indigestion, feeling really lethargic. Molly Hess has medically documented gluten sensitivity, something she hopes doesn't progress to full-blown celiac disease. The trigger is gluten, a protein found in wheat, barley, rye, and which damages the wall of the small intestine. If celiac gets serious enough, patients might have to take immune-suppressing drugs with significant side effects. Increased rates of cancer, increased rates of developing infections. So the a tolerance approach is to sort of reprogram the system. Dr. Stephen Miller, professor of immunology at Northwestern's Feinberg School of Medicine, explained to me that up till now, keeping the immune system from reacting to gluten has been almost impossible. But today at the European Gastroenterology Week conference in Spain, his colleagues at Northwestern presented the results of a groundbreaking clinical trial to re-educate the immune system into tolerating gluten. They are injected intravenously in the patient and then they are presented to the immune system in such a way it's nothing to be concerned with. So it re sort of reprograms the immune system. The ingenious trick is to wrap the gluten in a biodegradable nanoparticle, a kind of Trojan horse that allows the gluten to be presented to the immune system in a non-threatening way. Patients who got the nanoparticles and then ate gluten showed a considerably less immune response against gliadin and considerably improved intestinal biopsy. Now this was what's called a phase two trial to show a proof of the nanoparticle concept. The next step is a much larger trial than these 34 patients to prove to the FDA that this really does work in a larger population of celiac patients. But again, the even bigger excitement is if you can take those little tiny nanoparticles and put in the antigens that are responsible for other immune mm -hmm. diseases, MS, peanut allergies, and so forth, now you've got something even bigger than just celiac disease. It could be really big. It's huge, right? Yeah, really right. interesting. Thank, Thank you, you Dr. Dr. Max.